Good evening, my name is Rodney Sly and I've been working on our 56 trailer to get it polished up again. There's several things I use that I like. Um, this is a Cyclo buffer. You can get them on eBay. You can buy them new for about 400, get them on eBay for maybe two. And then uh, I like the Nuvite, and which is a polisher that even the Air Force uses. This is an S, um, which means this will put on the final shine if you really want a real high shine. Um, this is a C, which is coarse. So if you're taking out big, uh, big scratches and such, you may want to start with this, which is C, then move down to an F7. F7 is my favorite. It's kind of an all around great buffing uh, compound. So you see that's gray. And the white is the, the fine. Coarse is gray, but a little darker. Um, be prepared to use a lot of these uh, synthetic microfiber uh, rags. You can see they get pretty dirty. Um, and after I do a buffing, I like to use denatured alcohol, any kind, get it at Home Depot for, I don't know, six bucks a, a can of this stuff, because it gets rid of all of the residue when you're, uh, after you finish polishing something. And, uh, Let's start with this. So this is also, right now, this is a set of rags that you can buy from the Cyclo company. Um, they can be rewashed. Uh, these have been probably washed two or three times. After two or three times, I'll get some new ones and start out. Now another guy, um, he's down in Florida, I can't remember his name, but he goes to, I guess, the uh, Salvation Army or some of these other places, and he buys old 100% cotton um, ropes and he cuts them up into squares like this and each one of these squares is where or each one of these holes is where it fits through the handle of the uh, cyclo so I will put on a, a new place for this thing and then we'll go from there Stop. one of the products I forgot to mention and again this is new by and this comes in a little list I guess this is like 16 ounces or something and it's a cleaner debugger and polish is uh, polished metal so what this does is after I get home um, and the trailers dirty I wash it and I try to get all the bugs off lighter fluid works great to get some of the bugs off um, there's several other things but this is kind of the finished thing that I like to use when I do the debugger now this is the new bite with the rag I just showed you how it was in quarters it goes through one of those holes on the handle, wraps around, and you put it in a nice little uh, man bun, maybe. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do a quick uh, buff on one of the panels, and then I'll show you how that works. So you always like to uh, do some of the buffing in a cool, dry area if you have. If you work in the sun, um, this stuff dries up pretty fast and I've never worked in the sun because it's too hot and then you get some of these solar rays from the, tra the trailer and it will cook you, literally. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a little F7, going to do a little small piece of this side. It's already pretty good, I've done some debugging, but all you have to do is it doesn't take much. You get a little bit on your fingertips like that, put a couple little daubs. Wrap the rest of it on a new clean rag, and then you kind of smear it around here. And then you, work. you don't want to use a lot of it because a little bit goes a long, long way. You want to continue moving. You do not want to stay in one place because you will burn the side of the aluminum, which is very difficult to get out if you can get out. So you just want to continue moving. That little bit should pretty much come out. And I usually will uh, continue to do this until all of this, so uh, you can see some cloudy areas, which is actually some of the uh, new bites. And it will uh, take out very minor scratches, but you don't want to work in any place very long because you will burn the uh, aluminum, which is not good. So if you use a little bit, you can see most of this uh, new bite cleaner is 
off. So I'll turn that off and now you can see how much residue you get from the trailer. Most of this black stuff is some of the aluminum oxide that's coming off. So the next step here is I'll show you what I do after I do this. So what I just buffed with was this F7. It's kind of a medium grade. So there's still some residue up here that you want to get out. I don't know if she can show you that, but it gets around the rivets and everything else. But my finishing on a lot of this was I, I'd probably go down to an F, that fine grade, which is a soft, but put a little bit of alcohol and just uh, start rubbing where you had just buffed. Now you might want to do this two or three times depending on how shiny your trailer is or not because it takes a long time to get it to this real pretty finish. And you can see here, that's just some of the residue from the alcohol. Do that a couple times. Get all of the places that you were, that you buffed. Turn it around to the dryer side and just get that alcohol in there. It may take a couple times to get it, but as you can see, it shines up pretty good.